Like water, we must flow. Like earth, we must be resilient. The nomadic life. Home is where we take it. Money is scarce. Adventure is not. This is our attempt to share our experience, to redefine success, to put weight in the world outside our own. We are on a mission to live life beyond boundaries, to break barriers set by society and ourselves. We've given up almost everything to gain the world. This is our rite of passage. Follow or join us. I once read that good friends know your greatest stories. But best friends, they help you create them. Our crew has known each other for so little time, yet we are already so much like family. Boat life does that. You would think living in close quarters with four strangers would drive you insane. Maybe it has, but in the best way. It's only our second day in the Bahamas, and we are dedicating ourselves to the endless pursuit of storytelling. Let's back up a bit. Before the buffet of cheap beer, we were here. This wreck is supposedly the remains of a plane used to funnel drugs to the U.S. from Colombia, though I've yet to find a solid source to verify that. In roughly 10 feet of water, this plane has become a small artificial reef. Inside and out, the wreck provides protection for a dense population of marine life. Spearfishing here was akin to throwing a dart into a bouquet of balloons. Yet, somehow, we still left fishless. So we shifted our focus to the nearby beach. There was no one there but us, listening to the whisper of trees and the restless water collapsing against rock. It was blissful, liberating, and time for a change. Oh my god, I got so many prickles in my finger. <laughs> so on the beach where we were just exploring, um, I found these little guys, which is the fruit from the prickly pear. And it has an amazing amount of little spikes that felt like come off into your skin. We knew it was edible. When we cut it open, we discovered that it takes really well to Katie's hair. <laughs> Katie's actually wanted to dye her hair this color for a while, so we're just going ahead and going for it. Prickly pear style. We're gonna go to land and explore the town. Can I go up the stairs? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Saving the jellyfish. Great jelly rescue. The ones that stung us the other day, the upside down jellyfish. These lazy little jellies got stuck on the beach at low tide. We put like six of them, I think, in the water. And this one doesn't look like it's doing so hot. <laughs> and this one definitely isn't doing so hot. Yeah, that was dead. But it was, no, it's not dead, because it was moving when I pulled it out. It was definitely dead. Jellyfish are made mostly of water. So when they wash ashore, they tend to dry out and die pretty quickly. Call me ridiculous, but I was a little bummed. I hate to see things struggle, unless it's in a fail compilation. Anyway, to honor this jelly's death, we got the community together for the first and only not so annual rehydrate the jellies race. And then we hit the bar. All right, we were on our way there anyway. We were celebrating sadness for two reasons. One, obviously being the jellyfish massacre we witnessed upon docking, and two, Amy found out she would likely have to fly back soon. Amy loves life at the sea, but she received an unexpected call from the military asking her to fly back and teach a combat lifesaver course. I tried my best to convince her to call in sick, but something tells me they won't buy it. Hello, 
For now, we'll just have to enjoy the precious time we have left with our newest, wholesome addition to our family. So I wanted to share the name of this bar to give them credit and to potentially drive some hopefully wanted traffic to this awesome spot. But it doesn't exist online. We didn't find it by scrolling through TripAdvisor. We didn't read about it on a blog. Honestly, we found it while walking around town asking everyone where they like to go for a drink. We were pointed down an almost empty street to a building with little signage and hardly anyone inside. We actually walked in and out of it two different times before we realized that this was the bar we were told to come and visit. This was it. This was the spot. We filled ourselves with beer and shots and fries and fun music. And this is America. Okay, so I know what this looks like. You're probably sitting there thinking we're just a bunch of young kids traveling around the world without a care, partying and acting foolishly everywhere we go. All of those things are true, but we don't do it all the time. During our passages, we have a strict no drinking policy. This ensures that the crew is alert and ready for anything. It lessens the likelihood of an accident happening and ensures that we are all coherent and able to take care of ourselves and each other. That means after a passage, we're all ready to get together, let loose, and celebrate. Sometimes that means walking a deserted beach. Other times, that means having a beer for dinner and tossing our fucks in the recycling bin. Life is a balancing act. And so far, DJ I think we're looking a lot like Sean Johnson. After spending several hours in this bar, it was time to put our dancing shoes on and head back to the room. Maybe it was the beer, maybe it was the good music, maybe it's Maybelline. But more likely, it was the good vibes that had us dancing the whole way out of the bar. <laughs> We had a 30 island minute walk back through town. Which for those of you that don't know island time, is the equivalent of a five normal minute walk. To climb around on this very uneven rock. <laughs> Everything's fine, look at all of these conks. <laughs> it's hard to walk through new surroundings without getting distracted at every turn. This may be what I love most about boat life. Hey man, how's it going? In the wake of your travel, time is diminished to a bobbing shadow on the horizon. 